got your studio, got your club, got your life, and got your verse are all storyboard games that many, many kids have used. And I'm sure almost all of you know how controversial it used to be with the rise of gacha heat videos, videos that are strangely racist and homophobic with cute chibi characters talking about their terrible views to other, more darker subjects we'll get into. However, it's also been used for more wholesome and creative senses with compelling stories, animation memes, and artwork recreations being made. This artwork was made by Keith is okay, so please go check them out as they gave me permission to talk about this iceberg. And before I really start getting into it, uh, I just like to say I have a bunch of socials you can follow. I post stills of my artwork on there, as well as a Patreon and a Discord server where you can participate in art polls for me to draw the next artwork. Anyways, let's get into the first part, which is the tip of the iceberg. Gotcha Potato is someone who makes gotcha memes. The thing I want to talk about is how they were caught stealing from other people's memes, such as this example right here. This person, I'll just be calling them Jonas from this point on, is someone who makes short, often comedic videos on trending topics such as FNAF Security Breach and the Amazing Digital Circus. That's all I could really find on this topic. If there's anything I'm missing, please Leave a comment. Cutie Pun Pun is someone who makes gotcha edits, which is drawing over gotcha character stills and making animation memes that include her artwork along with said gotcha edits. A while back, she was accused of tracing, which it turned out to be true. And there were also some mishap with profiting off of videos where the traced artwork was in. This was seen with her spicy boyfriend meme where an ad played at the beginning and at the end of the video. But the thing is, the song is copyrighted, so all of the money being made off of the video will go straight to the original creator of the song. Gotcha Tia is someone who makes short videos around 2 to 10 minutes long, reacting to someone and responding to them. These are often people who make questionable content, such as Gotcha Heat. But Gotcha Tia has also made a video on someone named Hatsumi calling them a groomer while showing little to no evidence, which is a yikes. Mizuki is someone who isn't an English speaker, uh, but I can't discern their language, and nor can I even understand it. They seem to just be making memes and such, but, but if anyone has anything more to this situation, please do inform me in the comments. Kiru makes... Oh. oh. Oh no. Kirby Con Candy is someone who makes animation or just regular memes using the gotcha. App. That's all I really could find on the topic. Uh, Popo Cheap Pop, I think that's how you pronounce it, is a regular gotcha YouTuber, but there's something interesting going on. They made a video a month ago where I was writing the script about someone on TikTok and also Instagram, if I'm correct, who is pretending to be them. This was bad because they were reposting their content, failing to give credit, while also pretending to be Po Pochi. Again, it seems like a normal gacha YouTuber. But I did find a video where they copied a Vocaloid music video, making a gacha version of the original content with their characters. I'm not really sure why this video exists, but it does. When going to Anna Banana's channel, I could only find videos that were on gacha games, of course, but I also found a few on Roblox and Friday Night Funkin'. However, there was a bit of a convoluted drama that happened between her and a fan. It all started when a fan made a channel inspired by Anna and eventually asked for Anna's friendship, but Anna said this. Because you hate me, I didn't do anything to you. I created a channel in honor of you. Why? Because you are boring and self-interested. You just want me to promote you. You only have 50 subscribers. If it was in honor of me, I would have deleted this stupid channel by now. You're only right about one thing. I hate you. I'm not even sure what it says because I don't speak this language, so I used Google Translate because I'm desperate. But afterwards, the fangirl became angry, and in response, she made a channel called Little Annie, started to make videos that showcased her killing Anna's gotcha persona. 
After a bit, the person running the little Annie account made a video explaining why she made the channel. But then Anna began to pretend to be the victim and claimed she didn't do anything. After a bit, she made a video where she apologized to the fangirl. The fangirl accepted Anna's apology. But it doesn't end there. Later on, the fangirl claimed that she received several messages talking about Anna. And the people sending the messages claimed that Anna had made a community post that said this. Literally, the only gotcha tuber I hate at little Anna. The whole thing seems to be a mess with Anna bullying the fan and the fan making killing videos of Anna in response. But that's not all. The fan asked her subscribers if she should go back to making killing videos of Anna. There have also been accusations of Anna tracing and copying others' work and taking heavy inspiration without giving credit. Ziving is someone who makes gotcha mini movies and music videos. However, they've been accused of homophobia with the gotcha many movies only focusing on straight relationships. However, simply having content focused around guys and girls falling in love isn't substantial evidence that someone is homophobic, especially since there have been some side characters who are queer in their works. Another accusation is, is that there have been sexual assault in her mini movies, with there being moments of boys kissing girls without their consent. It's likely Siv watches content or is exposed to content that contains these terrible actions and doesn't realize the full extent nor how bad they actually are. Jack the Baron is someone who makes videos on drama within the gotcha community. He was part of a friend group, I guess, called the Ranter Gang, where they split up. The reason being that Jack planned to make Rick roll. The reason being was that Jack planned to Rick roll someone named poachy tricks and because of that they were at a sort of rickroll war with each other jack claimed to be planning to make the perfect rickroll but then he admitted to making a title which claimed that poachy would be grooming his younger brother and that's what would rake in the view which then would have the rickroll be in there in actuality the other person he was talking to ali x warned him that he might be taking things too far with this prank. A while after Ali and Pochi became friends, they decided to tell Pochi about the Rickroll prank. Of course, Pochi got angry after hearing about it. Jack then confronted Ali about spilling the beans. Really, no one should be joking about grooming, especially if it's meant to grab viewers' attention just to do a stup stupid Rickroll meme. It's really not okay, especially since I'm a victim of grooming myself, and to joke about these kinds of things will only discredit real grooming survivors. Well, that was part one on the gotcha iceberg. I <laughs> I hope you like this video. I've never really done iceberg videos. I've seen them before, though. Anyways, please go check out Keith is Okay. And yeah, if you really like this video, please like and maybe subscribe. I'll continue to make more parts on these going over two tiers at a time, if not one, like I did here. Anyways.